Hi, my name is Tammy. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. So today I just wanted to go over a few things that could optimize your website and help you to increase your revenue per month. So you're probably wondering why I'm making this video for you, and it's pretty simple. Most business owners are too busy running their business and taking good care of their customers that they don't have time to learn how the internet can bring them more business. And the only thing stopping them from hiring somebody is if they don't know who's an expert and who's not. So what I started doing was just creating these attack plans and giving them away for free. Some people take this information and do it themselves. Other people call me back and say, Tammy, I like what you said. I just don't have the time. Could you do this for me? So whatever you decide to do with this information is completely fine with me. My only goal is to um, educate you a little bit and make you a lot of money. So I want to start by saying when I got on your website, it's a very nice and clean website. It's a really nice looking website and the pictures that you have. Um, Google, however, doesn't really care what your website looks like. They mostly care about the content, which is all the words in here that you can read. And the more words you have, the better, because it'll make Google look at you like you're an authority. So the average ad has about 1,500 words of content on the home page. So I put you into wordcounter.net just to speed things up, and you're at 909. So getting closer to that 1,500 words of not having that would definitely optimize your website um, and help you to, to rank better. Also, um, the more words you have, the more keywords you can stuff in there, and um, your pictures as well can be saved as keywords. So instead of homepage, rotated, um, basement repair, Michigan, you could save that one as that. Uh, each one of these pictures could be saved as some a different keyword. But that one was good. Basement waterproofing. I would take the dimensions off and I would throw in um, the cities. The second thing I wanted to go over was backlinks. So a backlink is a website that has a link to your website. And that link could potentially be bringing you more traffic. But it's really important to keep in mind that not all backlinks are created equal. So say you did some work for Pizza Hut and they sent you a link. It's not going to be any good for you as, say, another um, waterproofing company. So we have a paid tool that we use to check out analytics um, for websites. It's called Arifs. So I went ahead and put you up here at the top. And I'll just break it down a little bit. So the DR is the power that your website has. Um, you get power from relevant backlinks and having um, a little more than 132. Uh, the UR is the trust that Google has in your website. So you do have 132 backlinks and 13 sites that are like kind of shouting out to you. So if you were to be on one, if somebody was on another web page and they clicked on something, that could potentially be bringing them to your website. If you did have more um, content, you could stuff in more organic keywords. So you're at 59 and roughly about 105 people per month. And I always tell people I love this tool. Um, it gives us a great idea of how you and your competitor are doing, but it's not 100% accurate. So, I mean, it's very close, but you could be getting more or less than 104. But same with your competition as well. They could be getting more than 362 people per month or less than. And the only reason I brought them up is because they've already done um, the hard work for you. All you have to do is copy them. Um, so you can see they have 1,500 backlinks, which is why they have more power um, in their website. So you would want to click on each link that they're associated with and um, get in there as well. Most of them are free. Some you have to pay like $5 for. And then you just, um, create, you just uh, write a comment in there, a relevant comment. And then once you do that, then you can request a link, and that will serve as a backlink to your website and give it more power. Um, and then the more backlinks you have, you can have more sites shouting out to you. So it's kind of like a popularity contest with Google. Whoever has um, the most relevant backlinks um, gets ranked higher. So once again, you want to have more content. That way you're able to stuff in more organic keywords. And then that can give you a lot more organic traffic um, per month. So I really hope this information was helpful. Um, a third thing that you could do to really help yourself rank and um, increase organic customers is through citations. So a citation is your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories all throughout the web, like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Facebook. Um, so if you do find yourself wanting to uh, scale up, go out and see what your what 
citations or directories your competition's in, get listed in them as well, and then always go out and grab a few more. You never want to just stop at what they have. And if you do find yourself wanting to scale further, feel free to reach out and I can do some more research um, and digging and get more information on what could be a realistic goal for your business. I'm sure you're super busy. I always try to keep these videos around five minutes. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.